Hello everyone, and so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a story script for kids' videos with AI. And we're gonna be using a program called make.com, which I'll introduce to you shortly. And so this is specifically for educators, content creators, parents, anyone who wants to create stories for kids. And so, like I mentioned, we're gonna be using this program called make.com, and so if you haven't signed up for it just yet, you can use my link down below to get a one month of the pro plan for free. And the one month pro plan for free is 30 days. That should be giving you more than enough time to actually test this out for yourself and see if it's worth the money. Already with the pro plan, it's already about $18 a month. So try it out, you've got nothing to lose. And so let's jump straight into it. So first I'm gonna go demo as far as how I actually write scripts using AI. And so here we have something on make.com that's called a scenario. If I click on run once and then click on, let's say, uh, the idea here is that we need to input some sort of idea of what we want our story to be about. So we can say a kid's first day at school. And then if we click on OK, let me go ahead and demo it first. And then I'll go ahead and explain what actually happened on each of these steps. Right now the demo is that that prompt is going through a series of AI modules or softwares to actually output an entire story. It's gonna take quite some time, so I'm gonna pause this recording and then meet back up with you very shortly. Okay, so it's pretty much done. And so this is the demo that was actually output. So if we open up the last module, we go to the web view link. Let's copy and paste this here and see what actually happened. So. Uh, the title of our story is Emma's First Day of Kindergarten Adventure. Here we have chapter one, then we have chapter two, and chapter six, chapter eight. So it's not perfect as far as formatting goes, but it's a pretty decent story. So you can see here that we have an individual named Emma. There's some dialogue. And the way I have my prompts laid out is that the ending of the story has to be like some sort of reflection or lesson learned. Now with this here, if we do the word count, it's around 2300 words, which is equatable to a well over a 10 minute long video. So it's a pretty decent story and long length story that will output a longer video. It's very, very cool to actually know that you can just use one click. So if I click on this run once, enter the prompt, and a story will be output. You could actually connect this to like Google Excel and then type in your prompts on a Google Excel sheet, for example, and you can have it so that these documents get pasted in the next column. Make.com, what it essentially is, is that it's a way to kind of connect different apps and softwares via AI. So what you see here is that I have Anthropic Cloud, which is like ChatGPT, and then I have it uh, connected to a Google document. So if you want to actually go ahead and try this out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below like I mentioned. Now what's actually happening is that each of these modules have like some sort of instructions to them. So the first instruction is Anthropic Claude. And I have this prompt here where it's going to write a kid's story prompt in the following category. Do not output anything except for the story prompt. So that story prompt comes from me here. The idea that I input here. So I took that idea and then it output a story prompt. And if I click on this magnifying glass, this is the output, okay? This is the output of the story prompt that was input. So the next prompt is an Anthropic Cloud prompt. And if I click on the magnifying glass, you can see that I took that exact prompt and then it input into an Anthropic Cloud uh, prompt as well. So I basically gave it a framework. If you go ahead and open this up, now the next prompt was write a full complete story outline in markdown format for the following story prompt. Do not output anything except for the story outline. And you can see here that the outline that was output was this here, Emma's first day at kindergarten. And these are all the chapters that you saw earlier in the video as far as the demo goes. We have a prompt and then from that prompt, we create an outline. And then from that outline, we just set a variable to it. And then with that variable, we're now breaking up that outline into individual sections. And so this is the key that I found to be able to actually write longer stories is that instead of asking Claude or ChatGPT, can you write 1600 words on this story prompt? In order to write longer length stories, I've actually broken it up into sections so that now ChatGPT has to write 400 words on section one and then 400 words on section two and so on and so on. And that's how I'm able to achieve lengths of about 2,300 words. So the numbers that you see here are basically how many operations that this module has used. So if you look at here, we're allowed 10,000 operations. So just from this module alone, we use 10 of those operations. So what's happening is that we're breaking up that outline into section by section. 
And then we're using claw to actually write each section by section. So if you use the magnifying glass, you can see that it's writing this section on section four. And this is the prompt that we gave it. The following is an outline. Your task is to write one section and one section only. And then as you can see here, we set another variable and then we combine everything all together, put it in a format that Google Documents understands, and then paste it into Google Docs. Now, the really interesting thing about this is that it looks complex, but it really is not. If you take the time to actually learn make.com and tweak with these prompts, you know, you can easily tweak this prompt to say, instead of writing a kid's story prompt, write a, we can say, horror story prompt. So there's so many different ways that you can customize these prompts to your liking and then actually have it so that you have a way to create story scripts for kids uh, using AI. What I found from having actually tried to test out, you know, chat GPT or cloud is that their stories end up being clunky. And this is a really neat way to actually write lighter, longer length stories using prompts so that you don't have to keep going back and forth with chat GPT or cloud. The really interesting thing also about this is with make.com, you are paying almost like a fraction of the price. I used to pay story writers like $20 a script, but here I can, it literally costs cents, right? If we're using only around like 30 operations per month to write one story and we're allowed 10,000 operations per month, you can see how like this drastically reduces your overhead costs. And if you wanna change ideas, you can just do, let's say a kid's, or a, let's say a girl's first time at an amusement park on OK. It's now going to create a story on a girl's first time in an amusement park and it's going to make it so that it's kid friendly. And with it, I do want to mention that make.com, it's not perfect AI. It's not perfect. So you do want to make sure that there's like some sort of um, kind of quality control or quality check to make sure that the output of these stories is good. But it really is fascinating to know that like three years ago when I was had a story YouTube channel, for example, I was creating stories at about like 20 to $25 per script for about eight minutes long length of video. And now without a click of a button, I can create these story scripts for kids using AI, specifically make.com in order to you know, save on costs and improve my efficiency. So I'll be tweaking this story prompt to make it even better just because right now it's just a ground framework where it's okay. And uh, you can try it out for yourself um, down below. If you sign up for make.com, and you click on these three dots and then click on import blueprint. I'll leave a link to this down below for the entire blueprint so that you could just import it yourself and you don't have to make it completely from scratch. I'll try to make it as easy as possible for you, uh, giving you the blueprint. And if you do input the blueprint, you won't have to copy and paste all of the prompts that I showed you earlier in the video. It's all gonna be inside there once you actually import the blueprint yourself. The only thing that you have to do is actually connect your own cloud account. You have to connect obviously your own Google Documents account or Google or Gmail account. And then you also have to connect, you know, make.com itself. You know, make.com is basically the hub for getting all of these different softwares and tools uh, to connect together. And so, like I mentioned, I'll be adjusting this uh, prompt to make, write it, make it have write better stories. And if we actually take a look at the next story that you see here, the formatting might be off sometimes. You can see here Sarah's Wonderful Adventure. There's all the chapters. I'm not sure. I still have to fix like why sometimes the chapters will be in H2. But for sure, like here's chapter seven. It should be in H2. But like I mentioned, it's not perfect. There's going to be some mistakes. I do need to kind of tweak it more. But hopefully you can play around with this. Uh, Make.com, it's an awesome tool. And like I mentioned, if you haven't signed up for it just yet, you can use my link down below. You'll get one month of the pro plan for free. But let me know if you guys have any questions, though. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.